What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of Top Rise, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go road to Yellowbird, Rhineland, Germany. One, a little bit of a more of a tricky one, I must say. Along the road, I realized my German squad, my German deck is not that strong. I definitely needed a couple of runs on some, wasted some tickets, uh, absolutely. So I'm trying to help you here, so you're not wasting any of those tickets, showing you where it might get difficult and which cars you can use for all rounds. And then we are again one step closer to the yellow bird. So we start off here. Karting circuit, very useful to have the beamer. Then round three, I did not realize that this car, <laughs> the BMW can be actually that useful. It's like, I remember I just, I worked on it just randomly, seriously randomly. I did not really think that I would use that car as lot as I would use it in this challenge. That was good. 316 to zero, that's our first pack UK cars. Standard pack, we got five standard UK cars packs coming up. And after that, five premium ones. So let's see if we get any lucky. The Santerano can always be useful. Okay, so next here. This one is tricky. Um, here I definitely needed more than one try. Um, we got the twisty circle. Hill climb is not that easy. And we got a twisty road, which is easier. But happen road, we got the golf going on there. And same for twisty circle. Those are all... Yeah, I wouldn't say performing too worse. Absolutely, there you go. Round two, 635. Brings that home. <coughs> and the i3 is doing a great job again, absolutely again. Then we have here the Opel Manta. We got performance tires against performance tires because I don't really have anything left there where I could uh, use here because I need it here hill climb you see bam hits me hard didn't expect that that I would lose there but yeah we will try that one again and I actually it took me I think I would say three tries or something like this until I figured it out really annoying because I would have loved to keep those beautiful um, renown points but here we go second try and what I needed to do, I needed to work a little bit on some other cars to see if that works out. But we will try our best now. Here he goes there. That goes this way. That goes this way. Hill climb is here the tricky one. So um, again, using the BMW, that old school BMW would actually make it right. Let's hear about that one. We got one more drag here. Oh, come on Mercedes. Woohoo! Well done, Mr. Mercedes. Well done. <coughs> That's me drinking water, if you're wondering what is that is. And um, I'm not sick, I just have an allergy. Hay fever is killing it. So if you're not new to the channel, if you've been here for a while, you will realize always in spring and summer this guy is sneezing and yeah stuff like that so here we go this is not so difficult that round but after that we will still have some rounds which are not the easiest like i said um what what is interesting about the this challenge in general is that in the beginning you really need to have low iq cars from a specific uh, country usually and um, that is a tricky that is a tricky part because sometimes it really comes down to have a specific card if you don't have it you need to wait the good thing is lower queue again you can just get them through like daily ceramics and stuff like this um, so working on that absolutely but it is tricky and uh, requires sometimes don't waste your renown points Really figure it out which car you need and wait until you get it rather than trying and trying and trying. For Ranger, hello Super Rare. I take that one all the time. Okay. Then we have here City Streets. You see it's a lot of rain here going on. A lot of rain, so get out your standard tires. Again, we use the beautiful beamer there on half mile rack. Which should do a great job there. But let's see about that. 
So, round one. Finally, the super rares are coming in. Okay, that went well. This should go well as well. Jetta is a very useful car. You can have more than two, definitely. Then here, this Beamer again. I did not realize how important this car would be later on. Absolutely did not realize that. I3S coming home. Again, this car is super important in this challenge. If you don't have it, I would almost say, like, wait until you get it. That Beamer winning brings home UK cars. Can't wait for the premium packs. I really hope I get something good out of it. Bentley Continental. Hello there. Set a preview of the upcoming ceramic packs. Okay, so Rhineland Germany. Here it is a little bit more tricky again. And I will just let you see it and then you see. Let you watch it and then you see wh what I mean with tricky. So, because North Loop again is something what we can't practice, so you cannot go into the campaign and just test the North Loop. No, you can only try to remember North Loop on yeah, whenever it was part of any event. So, but apparently, I mean, we are at 2,000 cars here. You cannot remember all of them. That's why it's always a little bit tricky here. But okay, works fine here, as you see. Then we got round four. home those points but we're not doing actually any extra points bonus points are not done and then we have here our challenge on north loop relay 5 and you see that's a big fat loss there that is a big fat loss so we still get our uk car standard pack but this last north loop round track or something um definitely uh brought me some issues there you see i Increase it to two stars now, but that's not enough. Obviously, we need to finish this so I need to run a different strategy Trying different things and I didn't want to gamble anymore on the fifth track That's why I uh, yeah got that super rare beamer Out there now and hopefully I can finish this thing now There we go but the good thing is you're not really using any, <coughs> I would say, exotic cars here. It's like this Volkswagen Corrado and the Opel GT, the Porsche here. All of those are, um, yeah, cars you should have, I would say. Like cars which, which I covered in, in previous videos, which are important and definitely can bring you somewhere. And that's why it's not really an exotic car where you're being like, ah, I never ever thought about this car. Here I'm lucky again that I actually had once this event where I worked on all my Volkswagen SUVs. So this comes in handy. We got the Forest Road uh, where I didn't care really about uh, performance tires. I just cared about my four wheel drive. Should be fine here. We have a non maxed out uh, off roader there we had. Then we have here the Phaeton doing a good job against the uh, non maxed out version. We got the T Rock, the car I actually have myself. Not in that color, that's ugly. I have it in blue. That's I think that's better. Not this blue. Different blue. Not the beamer blue here. So 291 to 0, and that's our first premium UK cast pack. Let's see what beauty we're getting out of this one. There's a node, Mitsubishi Lancer, Bentley Turbo Air, and hello there, Ultra Rare! Aston Martin DB7 GT. This one has around 70 mid-range acceleration, so should I... it's so-so. Don't get fooled by the um, top speed there, it's definitely is so-so. It's not amazing, it's not the worst, I would say, um, depending on your deck, what you have in that moment. It's like, is this car really increasing your deck, the deck, like the quality of the deck, or not? Then uh, you could decide if you want to keep it or use it as fused material. So, city streets small, the, the rest actually, I always have less issues the higher we go. Because then it's turning into like a super rare and ultra rare fest. And um, usually those are my strong sides. I, I realize that in, in this whole Road to Yellowbird thing. Okay, come on. I wouldn't mind another ultra rare. BMW X1, nice turbo and... 
Jaguar, not the Jaguar we're looking for. So, easy fuse material. Again, it goes into my big garage of having tons of super rares, which I barely use. So, which are just waiting to be fused into an ultra, if any ultra is coming up, which is worth the fuse. There we have another, our ultra rare, our Bima, doing a great job here, motocross track. The Audi Quattro, doing another great job. There you go. Haha. <laughs> Beamer convertible, whoo, close, close, but we did it. Again, it's the return of the Beamer here on half my leg. It gives me enough points, which is great. Beating the Porsche Boxster, there you go. This car, man, 15 races, 87% uh, win ratio. It's uh, impressive, very impressive. There we have, and the BTR does a great job in the end. 370 to zero. Two more to go, and then we finish chapter five of the Road to Yellow Bird. Only one chapter is left, which I uh, most likely will definitely drop this week, and then we will start joining the whole Road to Yellow Bird and having a look and seeing, okay, what can we win, what can we not win. I'm excited, I want to see what kind of special things we can have there. Okay, so, zero to 100, again, yeah, we're doing pretty fine here with this told you the higher we go the easier it usually is for me plays into my hands round three okay good gd concept Ooh, wow 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 but we did enough points in the beginning thanks to the btr i would say and here i think for a slalom thanks thank you opal adam are true Excited to have that car, love those off orders. Another premium UK cars pack. Lots of Sabre, more focus. Lunch update, a coupe. And it's again, this car. How many of this Maestro Toro are we getting? Eh? Okay, one more to go. There we go. Force River crossing again, again. North loop in the end. That's a full north loop. But I think the BTR will uh, seal the deal here, absolutely. Force River crossing. roof there doing a great job i must say then it's the return of the i3s Woo! standard tires my friend again standard tires but here we go that should be easy coming home with 53 points <laughs> okay well not that many but okay enough is enough premium uk cars there we go ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed today's episode um leave a like so I know you care and I wish you a pleasant day. That was a casual mobile gamer and yes, another super rare. Only one ultra rare, but better than nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, see you for Chambery France. Bye bye.